Hello guys, my name is Brandon and I'm here to talk about a very serious issue that affects hundreds of makers every day. Uh, this is the need for another DIY CNC kit. Here at the labs at SMW3D, we've been working very hard formulating just the exact right thing to take care of this ailment. We like to call it the R7. Note, there are some side effects. These side effects may include lack of sleep due to excessive designing and machining. Also, sizing up every product that you currently own and looking at how you can build it and design it better. So those are the side effects. Let's go check out the benefits. Here it is guys, the long awaited R7 CNC kit. This is a DIY hobby grade level CNC kit that we are going to package up and send to you. The only thing you'll need is a controller and a spoiler board, much like our great aux kit. We will include the Tiny G as an option so that you can select that at checkout. I left it as an option in case you had a controller that you'd like to use a little more. Um, we want to thank the, uh, the entire community for all the great support we've had on this. Thank you very much, guys. We also want to thank Eric Lean, which was our first beta tester. He had a lot of great, great thoughts and, and helped us really evolve this design quite well. I uh, also wanted to give thanks to the inspiration provided by the Ox Kit. Uh, that was one of our first CNC's. We played with some Shea Cocos too. We want to thank both those guys for the inspiration of this build. So let me take and give you a few of the specs on this machine. Right. So this machine is a full C-beam build. Acme driven on every axis. Uh, NEMA 23 driven, water-cooled 800 watt spindle, comes in either 110 or 220 volt kit. Uh, we've had a lot of great fun with this. We've done a lot of aluminum machining. A lot of carbon steel. and a lot of MDF and wood, uh, wood cuts. It's been a great machine for us so far, one of the most rigid we've used. We've had a great time with it. Um, we really want to get this out to you guys. We're going to make the first three kits beta kits because I really want to get feedback from you guys on this design, its usability, build instructions. Speaking of build instructions, there's 10 of them that I made. Uh, I'll put them out on YouTube so you guys can go check it out prior to purchase, look at how the build is going to go. Uh, the first few steps are a little tedious, I apologize guys, but the entire linear system is really reliant on a low friction, accurate drive. That's exactly what we get with the C-Beam product, so um, I really take my time in the first few steps. I just really suggest you guys do too. The build will take a while. Uh, I would imagine two days straight if you were to just get after it, um, but I really encourage you to take your time, have a lot of fun with the build, that's, that's just half the fun there is to owning one of these things. So that's about all there is guys, again I just I want to thank the community and Eric and Mark and those guys for just giving us great products and, and great feedback. Um, we'll let you know right now this current build is a thousand millimeter by a thousand millimeter C beam. I can't go over that build size just yet guys, we will get there though. Um, I wanted to touch on safety real quick too. This is a pretty serious system. There's a lot of electricity, a lot of amperage that's running through here. There is water involved because of the water cooled spindle. If you guys get into building this, please be super safe. Uh, make sure that can't get any water to the electricity and vice versa. Uh, besides that though, we've had a blast with it and I hope you guys do too.